Okay, my name is Andrea Jones, and I need to make this video to tell you all what is going on at the Montgomery County Women's Center. So, when I was released from the Montgomery County Jail on charges for protecting myself, I was denied into all of the shelters and shelters in Houston. And I went to Atlanta. I stayed on the streets in Houston. They took my son and were saying that I did not have income or an apartment. The Montgomery County Women's Center in Conroe, Texas is located on the same exact street um, next to where Austin Matter was attacking me in my apartment, 1308 Houston Street, Apartment 3. And this case was national. So for them to be refusing to allow me into the shelter, I want to explain to you all that I did stay at the Montgomery County Women's Center. I had an officer call from Spring, Texas and asked if they were had availability. I stayed there from November 28th, 2021 to December 27th, 2021, and I was out on the streets for two days. I went to the Salvation Army and they were trying to harm me in the Salvation Army. So I left that location and I stayed on the streets for two weeks. I got a job coming into the new year. Um, in January 2022 and I have been calling um, the Montgomery County Women's Center because I went back to the Salvation Army and I stayed there for two weeks and they were trying to make me leave the shelter or harm me inside of the shelter about a pregnancy where I was denied medical care and people tried to illegally abort my child. So the Montgomery County Women's Center told me that they would not give me an extension to gain employment um, December 27, 2021. And I stayed on the streets and in and out of the Salvation Army with them trying to harm me and the baby that I'm carrying. And I found employment. And so I've been contacting the Montgomery County Women's Center because they tried to harm me and the Salvation Army and I had to leave. I stayed outside on the streets, sleeping at benches and on the ground with blankets with the police telling me that I could not sleep outside or that it would be some sort of citation um, that I'm not allowed to sleep in public. There's a case going on where a woman named Cynthia Overa sued me for my son after I was attacked with my child pregnant by Austin Metter and they tried to abort the child and said that they were gang raping my child. He is white with the Ku Klux Klan. So everybody has been trying to stage to have me outside because she went through a judge named Tracy Gilbert at 304 North Main Street, a white Caucasian male saying that she has legal custody of my child, saying that she was raping my child with white police officers, with black Freemasons, with her son, Austin John Metter, a convicted felon, and with her husband, Joseph Overa. She is going through this judge's courtroom to say that I do not have a home, that I do not have income. I am currently employed and everybody is trying to stage to make me spend my money with them instead of save my money for my own apartment. I am getting paid and they are denying me into the women's shelter. I have called several times, um, several days in a row. I have been asking them since December 2022 if they could allow me into the women's center. They are telling me that they are at full capacity. I am the only woman in Conroe, Texas that is sleeping outside and I have stayed in these women's shelters where they did not have women that were fully employed inside of the center. This is the number to the hotline. If there is anybody who would be willing to investigate what is actually going on, when I call, I t I'm being told, am I calling about myself or someone else? They keep trying to kindly tell me that they are at full capacity and that I can call back. This is the only emergency women's center here in Conroe, Texas, and they are trying to plot to have me harmed in the Salvation Army so I cannot stay there. This is the only other shelter here. They're trying to refer me to Houston. The case about my son is here in Conroe, Texas. My job is here in Conroe, Texas. I'm not about to be bullied out of the city because people want to deny me resources. I am a pregnant African-American woman sleeping outside and there are no other women being harassed by police um, officers. I have no criminal background and all I need is somewhere to stay and they continue to tell me
that they cannot take me into their shelter saying that they are at full capacity. So if there is anybody concerned about my safety, they referred me to St. Vincent de Paul's that give vouchers for hotels, seven day free vouchers. And the woman continued to hang up in my face after placing me on hold. So they are telling me that they will refer me to resources that are giving me the runaround. I'm just going to be sleeping outside. I'm not going to let them extort me for money. I need this money to get the apartment for my son so I can go into Tracy Gilbert's courtroom and tell him to return my child from Cynthia O'Vara. She is not his mother, and they have been trying to set me up to be murdered since I was released on charges, setting me up outside.